the potential for a new shutdown. Federal workers here in Utah are bracing themselves. This, of course, after just going without pay for more than a month. ABC 4's Andrew Reeser spoke with some federal workers today about the hopes they have for the president's speech tonight. Federal workers here in Utah say the last government shutdown really forced them to pinch their pennies, and they hope Washington can come together so it doesn't happen again. And another shutdown could be just two weeks away. That's if Congress doesn't come to a compromise on President Trump's border wall. His State of the Union address coming just as Utah federal workers get back into the swing of things after the longest shutdown in U.S. history. You try to let it weigh on you and you try to do your job. Matthew Harris and his Utah U.S. Marshals worked through the last shutdown. They didn't stop. We arrested at least two dozen fugitives here in Utah during the shutdown. Despite having to tighten their own household budgets. Now, I used to say that I wasn't concerned about morale. This single mom of five who works at the Ogden IRS out of work for more than a month concerned about another furlough. You don't know when you're going to go back to work and be able to support your family. Like, it's very nerve-wracking. Utah's federal employees say they don't take a position on the Trump administration's policies, but they do hope Washington can reach across the aisle and come together. We hope there's a resolution. We hope there's not, there's not another shutdown. But at the, at the end of the day, you know, we put our heads down and we do our jobs. In Salt Lake City, Andrew Reeser, ABC4 News. All right, well, the IRS saying its operations could be impacted again by the shutdown, which could happen right in the middle of tax season. The IRS encouraging you to get your returns filed.